Love that flute sound. Doesn't really sound like a flute, but I like the sound. Eventually, I'll get to a point where I'm able to do the stuff that I say that I'm gonna do, no problem. That's the goal that I'm aiming for. I don't wanna just believe that I'm a piece of shit. I can't live up to the stuff I want to accomplish. And I don't think that it's just the devil infiltrating. I guess that's his thing, isn't it? Because I would love to be this steady worker bee. I want to be the whole motherfucking hive. Because when you see me on top of my game, oh boy, oh boy, do I thrive. The reason for that is because of all this shit boggles my mind and it just piles up and I soar through it and I analyze and hope that my analysis will give me some sort of conclusion I can draw from and if I look at it long enough it'll make sense out of me and out of everyone I wish that there was more truth to that than there is. Because I think that when people do stuff that is inherently bad for them, they make up excuses as to why it's necessary. And they will do so in spite of their own self-perpetuated misery. subjected themselves to, they think, oh, I'm important because somebody knows me and they know about me and they know of me and they think that I'm so cool and what I do is important. I know that what I do is important. I don't need anybody to convince me, but sometimes I... I wish that I could reach people a lot further. And I don't know if it's my lack. It might be. It probably is, honestly. I'll pick up whatever slack belongs to society. Because I don't go along with society in ways that I can't avoid. Even if that means my detriment. And I do get annoyed. I get very self-righteous. By all these things that I know, which to me are so blatantly obvious. I 
I get annoyed by everybody else's ignorance. And even if you tell them, and even if they say, yeah, Amy, you're so right about everything. You're so right about the smartphones. You're so right about the social media. I'm still very much alone in the fact that I am one of the few that's willing to do something about it. I'm one of the few that's willing to practice what I preach and not just keep yakking and yakking about all the stuff that's happening that's so terrible. They wouldn't be able to get away with it if you didn't conform. They wouldn't be able to get away with it if you didn't use their platforms to reprimand all the things that they're trying to do. You've already fallen into their trap. That's exactly what they want, man. So many of these motherfuckers are so hung up on the teeny tiny dot. Whatever the media's telling you to stare at, it's glaring right back. And it's laughing at you, it's pointing their finger at you, and it's saying, Wow, that dumb fuck fell for it. Again and again, and again and again, and again and again, and again and again. They keep using the same tactic that has always been. Because this era of sheep is just another version of what's already been and what will be. And I just got through a reading Ecclesiastes for like the twelfth time. <laughs> and I'm so lucky that I understand it. There's so many that read the scripture and don't understand the bigger picture that the elite are using it to control the narrative, to control the way we perceive ourselves, to control the way that we think about reality. Sometimes it doesn't feel like a blessing, it's way more of a curse. Because when you're above and beyond everybody else's comprehension, it can only get worse. Which is why I have to keep God in my pocket. Literally, have a cross always on me. So that I remember the sacrifice that was made on my behalf. So I remember the sacrifice that was made on everyone's behalf. And if he can carry the cross and get nailed to it for the likes of my dumbass, then I can cry about the state of the world. Then I can live in this shit world and still look around and realize that there's good to be found in this piss poor world. I can still see the good, 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 as I should, as I should.
I want you guys to see what I'm focusing on right now. It's good to focus on some. <laughs> it helps. It's really hard for me to focus, and I think that's why I can't get things done. Now, that's one of the reasons I bought all this nicotine gum, right? Because nicotine helps you focus. But I can't go back to smoking cigarettes because I'll chain smoke. I'll smoke like... I'm guessing, considering my former two-pack-a-day habit, I'll probably be up to three, maybe four packs a day. Considering how stressed I am to live in this fucking world, you know? So that's why I can't go back to it, because cause I know myself. Uh, but I want to focus, though. So, yeah, have all this nicotine gum. But it's motivation, too. It's like if there's like a lack of motivation, then I'm not going to chew the nicotine gum. And I'm not <laughs> going to do the things that I know are positive. Like I went and took a walk today. That was good. So I'm motivated to do that. Uh, but a lot of this other stuff, you know, like cleaning my house and... Like, wrapping all these presents that I bought. I spent like over $100. Probably like, I think over $150 on Christmas present. Probably more than that. <sighs> like, I have all this stuff to do and I'm just not doing it. And I don't know if that's because like, I'm in the lull. Like, I'm knee deep in the lull right now. You guys know about the lull? I've said this before and I'll say it again. I would not wish the lull on anybody like for an artist the lull is like worse than relapse okay like I think going back to heroin is better than going into the lull because it's this period of zero productivity where you feel like you cannot accomplish anything and it's way worse than relapsing because if you relapse, at least you have an excuse as to why you're not doing anything. When you're in the lull, it's like, dude, I can't accomplish diddly squat. I'm just sitting here stroking my ego, talking about all this stuff I'm going to do, and I haven't done anything. And it's just so aggravating. Which is why I'm more prone to doing things like masturbating. Because I'm just like, well, I got to do something. Might as well be myself, right? <laughs> And it's not because, like, my head is, is full of, of lustful desire and all this sh It's It's not that. It's like, I just feel so isolated, man. Anyway. I was talking about something, right? Just my inability to focus, my inability to um, accomplish tasks because of this is very, very frustrating. I've been praying about it a lot. I think that this is just something that I'm going to have to struggle with for the rest of my life, you know? And I was hoping that, you know, if, if I'm going to be in this period of zero productivity, at least I enjoy it, you know, which is why I end up doing the stuff that I do. But, um, yeah, I mean, it just sucks, like, feeling like, Like, there, there's so much that I want to do, and I, I know that I'm capable of doing it, but I, I feel like I'm in quicksand, and I'm just watching myself sink, and I can't do anything about it. I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm just going to keep talking about it, because it, keep, it keeps coming up, you know? It's just a constant struggle, but, you know, maybe there's something I'm supposed to learn in this quicksand. <laughs>